Numerous biological phenomena can only be witnessed at the subcellular level. For example, choreographs chromosomal couplings and uncouplings at cell division, the morphology of circulating red blood cells, and neuronal activity occur at a resolution below human vision. Given that the resolution of the human eye is insufficient to distinguish or even perceive phenomena at the subcellular level, how are scientists able to visualize cellular and molecular interactions? Modern recombinant DNA technologies and microscopy can be combined to modulate and visualize molecular interactions. As an example, fluorescent calcium imaging can be used not only to observe neuronal activity, but also to associate behavioral characterizations with physiological states. In our research, we use calcium imaging via recombinant DNA technology and microscopy to not only observe neuronal activity, but also to associate behavioral characterizations with physiological states. In order to detect the movement of calcium ions during neuronal signaling, a genetically engineered calcium indicator, or GCAMP, is required. GCAMP is a hybrid calcium sensor encoded by the calcium-binding messenger protein comodulin, the calcium and comodulin binding M13 peptide of myosin kinase, and the fluorescent protein GFP. Few interactions are maintained between the GCAMP protein domains, and as a result, GFP fluoresces minimally in the absence of calcium. In the presence of calcium, calmodulin undergoes a conformational change and is free to bind the M13 domain. This induces GFP to adopt optimal conformational changes for increased fluorescence. The increased fluorescence can then be detected visually under a microscope. Let's see how we can visualize these molecular changes at the cellular level. We can inject model organisms such as the nematode C. elegans with plasmids that contain genetic sequences that will give rise to a calcium sensor protein. As a result, we can observe the relative changes in calcium levels in the cells of an organism over time. Calcium signaling plays an essential role in neuronal signal transduction. Let's look at C. elegans as an example. Calcium signaling is crucial for C. elegans chemosensation. Previous research has shown that these microscopic animals can detect and move toward attractive odorants and away from repulsive odorants. When a worm is exposed to odorants, we can observe synaptic inputs and neuronal firing by measuring the relative changes in calcium levels in each neuron. Calcium imaging allows us to observe neuronal activity and associate behavioral characterizations with physiological states. C. elegans have 302 neurons, many of which are important for how the animal senses and reacts to stimuli. The AWC sensory neurons are located in the head of C. elegans and are critical for food-seeking behavior and chemotaxis toward volatile odorants. Behavioral assays suggest that the AWC sensory neuron responds specifically to attractive odors. There are two AWC neurons, the off neuron and the on neuron, Calcium imaging allows us to look at a neuron's activity as it happens. While a worm is immobilized, a specially designed microfluidic chip exposes the worm's nose to a flowing stream of test solution. Typically, when a neuron is activated, the concentration of calcium increases inside the neuron, causing the calcium sensor to activate. The fluorescence microscope allows us to observe fluctuations in neuronal activity. Now let's flow in our two stimuli. One stimulus, isyl amyl alcohol, is an attractive odor, while the other stimulus is a neutral odor. Surprisingly, we see a decrease in intracellular activity when we flow in the attractive stimulus and an increase in activity when we remove the odor. As it turns out, the active AWC neuron is an odor-off neuron that is activated by odor removal and inhibited by the continued presence of odors. This data, along with the previous behavioral experiments, has allowed us to determine that AWC responds specifically to attractive stimuli. Calcium imaging allows us to correlate behaviors with physiological responses in neurons. It is an important tool for providing highly quantitative data on neuronal activity. Intracellular calcium signaling has also been implicated in a host of human diseases, such as schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, and Huntington's disease. Visualizing the movement of calcium ions within a neuron is important in order to understand the pathophysiology of these diseases.